world-class facility on a world-class island. Right. I mean, there's no calling back and going, look, you know, we can get this gallon of paint, you know, right. five five dollars cheaper. So, right. but uh, you know, no, you I go with the that. good stuff. Every, yeah. every at every corner. That's the way it ought to be. We want to do the best. Yeah. And you're also dealing on a, you're dealing already with the membership that when they're on there when they're out here, they're already relaxed because they're coming out here to play golf. So. Right. You know, hopefully it's going to be easier to make them happy too. Right. Are they nice folks? Uh, everyone I've talked to, I've dealt a lot with them, you know, with making cottage reservations and stuff. Right. And we had the grand opening last uh, Labor Day. Mm -hmm. And every one of them to a T has just been a really, really nice person. I think they're so excited right. about this. They, I mean, they seem like eager little kids. They mm -hmm. really do. They're just so happy right. to have this out here. And they just can't wait for it to get going. Now, just without getting into actual personalities, who, what kind of people are, is the membership here? Who, who are they? What do they do for a living? A lot, Where a lot of Wall Street people. Yeah. Um, a lot of people who have earned their money mm -hmm. over the years. Right. Uh, I think we have a big base coming from Connecticut and New York. Uh, but all over. I mean, you name it, they're, right. they're, they're in it, you know. So very, very expansive. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff. Democrats, Republicans, <laughs> uh, a little of both. Yeah, a little bit. That's, that's, that's all. Very democratic, all us, but a little a bit of both. No, Tokens, that's Democrats at the golf club. That's all right. Somebody I can have a Singapore sling. Right, with exactly. Got to have that. <laughs> all right. Great. Well, you, what do you want to take a ride? Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can we take a ride? Yeah. Check yeah. it out. Yeah. Great. great. Let's do that. We're we're riding in the golf cart outside the uh, clubhouse Bump, here. Bump. Heads up. And Gino's uh, yeah. sitting backwards on the front of the golf course so we can talk here. And uh, we were just talking about the kids, the kid factor here, the yeah. member kids, you know. Because I was telling a story about when I was young and we used to go to the yacht club and yeah. uh, somebody knew somebody who was a member, you know, and he'd bring eight of his scruffy buddies into the uh, yacht club right and order up 16 singapore slings for the table <laughs> and sign it off to a dad slip you know there won't be a lot of that, going, that on going on out here. here so all you kids who are at chote rosemary hall right now watching this <laughs> don't expect you're going to come out here this summer and be signing drinks That's off right. to dad right go to the yacht club go to the yacht club he says <laughs> i couldn't yeah but this is um now people say exclusive right only in the sense that it's private, right? And these these people are paying for the right to come out and enjoy a round exactly. of golf on their own golf course. Exactly. Basically, they, they're right? They're paying for that right, and we're giving it to them. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, nothing as, wrong at as all. As Jerry Seinfeld would say, not that there's anything wrong with that. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, exactly. People have a right to do that. That's right. You want to get off? Oh. And the, so who, yeah, yeah, who is your dog? Maddie. That's Maddie. Maddie. That's Maddie. Yeah. The ultimate club dog. As they say, a dog's life. She's just in heaven out here. She must be. Yeah. yeah. It was funny. We, we uh, when I came out here, she um, had gone from being a puppy at the Hyannisport Club, chasing geese, to having to stay at our house in a uh, pen, unfortunately, for a couple months until I got settled in out here, and then got her out here. And and I bet if you asked her now, she wouldn't leave. Right. <laughs> I, yeah. I've I mean, she just runs day in and day out, just all day long, and stays right here on the property. This is dog heaven out oh, here. Oh man, she loves yeah, it, it out here. Now, what, Charlie, you've been coming out here. When did you start coming out here to work on this? April 1996. April 96, so yep. we're two years. Two years into it. Into it. And uh, we were talking before about whether you're thinking about moving out here or not. What do you think? We're, we're considering it. I, yeah. lo I love the island myself. I'm actually uh, starting to get involved in a little bit of the uh, community efforts. Uh, right. Nantucket Ice uh, is one, one that's hopefully coming up shortly uh, with involvement. and. and uh, no, right. we'll, do, we'll take a ride up here and then get off the cart and take okay. a little bit of a walk. And now this house up here, you could probably fit like 20 Irish people <laughs> yeah, in there right. in the summer, <laughs> right? 100 bucks a week, months. no that's problem. Actually, yeah, the rest area, probably a place where they can get some drinks, uh -huh. some water, some coke, uh, in between playing golf. Only water and coke. Uh, there won't be any liquor. Or beer no out Singapore there, no. slings no Singapore out on the slings. course, ladies and gentlemen. You wouldn't want to go there, Michael. That's, no? You stay out of there. All right. No smoking, no slings, That's I'm right. not there. I, I just thought any sport where you drive and you have a cooler in, in the thing with you <laughs> is my kind of sport. Uh, well, I you, mean, know what? you know It's funny you bring that up That's because right. uh, we're a walking golf club. Really? Yeah. No yeah. carts? We're, we're only going to have 20 golf carts, and, and you have, there has to be medical reason or an age, age uh, level really? uh, to utilize those. And, uh, and the feeling is, is, is it's a traditional game. Right. 
these people love the game, they love the tradition of it, and they're going to treat it as a tradition, and, and we're going to be a walking course. We're going to have a great caddy program. Mm -hmm. It's going to involve uh, a lot of the local kids, uh, island great, island yeah. kids in the program, and go from there. So. Now, what about, this, uh, what about this guy uh, on the tour who just won the right to drive a cart on the tour? What do you think about that? I think it's his right to do that. You I mean, think it's he, okay? If, he can, compete, if he can compete at that level, yeah? he should have the he's ability, already, he should have the ability right. to do that. Really? Oh, definitely. I think so. Because the arguments I hear is that, you know, like, uh, if you're, I mean, these guys are competing for well, they, big money and everything, you know? And if it's 90 degrees and humid and these guys are all walking and he's riding, does that create an unfair advantage, you think? I don't think it does because he's still dealing with his personal situation and that heat and humidity is going to take a toll on him the same way. Fair That's enough. just allowing him to get around. Well, this is a par 5, this is a number 12, uh, par 5 heading out towards the milestone. Where's the pin for this uh, one? It's around the corner, you around can't see corner. it from here. Okay. Um, because our summer uh, prevailing wind is southwest, this, is, this plays into the wind. So with that wind and its diff differing velocities on any given day or any, any given hour, basically, out here on the island, yeah. um, you need a variety of tee boxes for the variety of golfer ability. Mm -hmm. And um, so you, this, therefore, in the wind, you've got to give them a lot of options, therefore, this six here. Right. Uh, a, a golf hole playing with the wind has, you know, lesser box, lesser. Right.